could the CNBC app be the next trading hack? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down whether it's actually beneficial or non-beneficial. Before we get started, if you guys wanna be mentored by me and you wanna learn my exact US 30 strategy, make sure you send me a message on Instagram or the link for my Instagram is in the description. And if you guys could show some type of love, like this video, drop a comment below, or share this with one of your friends. Every time that you guys show some type of engagement, it pushes this video to other traders that are in need of this information. And hey, I have a ton of other videos on US 30 on my channel, check them out. Now without further ado, let's get into my computer. Just a forewarning guys, this app is not 100% accurate. I would never rely on an app like this to formulate my bias. This is kind of like an indicator. It's just giving us a little more confirmation and if we agree with it, awesome. But at the end of the day, this is not something that you guys should rely on. You guys all should be relying on yourselves to be able to analyze the market. And if you're relying on something like this to just give you the magic formula to success in this industry, you're looking for shortcuts and nobody is ever going to see success by looking for shortcuts. Do not half ass this industry because it will bite you in the ass later on. Just giving you guys a warning now. Okay. This is a CNBC trading hack. I recently learned about this through one of my students. He told me about this and I was like, do you know what? Let me look into this and I have used it. It's an honestly, it's, it's honestly a really cool tool to, Help me formulate my bias and just give me a little bit more confirmation on what I think is going to happen. It's also cool to have this app because I can see when companies are having earnings. I can watch when there's a news event like FOMC, CPI, something like that, and really learn more about the market. So this app is just really cool in general to learn more about the fundamental side of trading. But let's get down to business. The first step that you guys need to do is download the app CNBC. This is how the app will actually look. The logo will look like this. I think it's like blue with the logo on it. Let me see. Yeah, so it has a blue background with this exact logo right here. So you're going to get it on your app store. Once you download it, you're going to go to the middle tab where it says watch list and you're going to make a watch list with all these companies below. The first one is going to be Microsoft. Second is United Health Group. Third is Goldman Sachs. Fourth is Home Depot. Fifth is McDonald's. Six is Visa. And seven is Caterpillar. Now, I'm pretty sure that my student told me that United Health Group is the top company that you want to add first. So maybe have United Health Group, then have Microsoft. And guys, I'm giving you all the steps right now. What you should do is pause this video Go download the app and make this exact watch list. Don't be lazy and don't procrastinate. Like do exactly what I'm telling you because this is pretty valuable information. And like I said, this app is just a must needed app. It's like Forex Factory for a lot of traders. Cool. So once you create this watch list, step four is you are going to do what you normally do. If you are new to the industry, US 30, is what we are basing this app around. I'm not using this with NAS, with EURUSD, anything like that. I'm solely using it with US 30. So what you're gonna do is do your normal analysis. Do your analysis on US 30 before 6.30 a.m. PST. That's when the market opens up. So with me, I'm showing up to the markets at 6.25 a.m. PST. I'm giving myself five minutes to do my analysis and see whether I think it's going to be a good long or a good short for the day. And if I don't see my setup, I'm going to wait for the next candles to open up. So do your analysis on US 30 before 6.30 a.m. PST. Make sure you have your bias already determined before looking at the app. Now, I think that this is true, but I do not think that the data is going to show on the app till after 6.30. So I think exactly at 6.30, the data comes out. So you might have to wait a little bit after. I don't know if that's true. I think I kind of saw that the other day when I was looking at the app, they were all gray. And I was like, where's the feedback on the companies? It's not showing. And it kind of does make sense because at 9.30 a.m. EST 
is when the actual like equity stock market opens up and the market bell opens and everything. So it kind of does make sense, but check it out for yourselves. So that's step four. You, you want to do your analysis before you actually go to the app. And like I said, guys, we're not relying on this app to give us our bias. It's just adding a little more confirmation. Step five. Now you're going to check this after doing your analysis on US 30. And this is how you're going to do it. If the top three companies are green, you're going to look for buys. So usually what I'll do is I'll already have determined my bias. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm looking for long stay on US 30. And then if I go to the CNBC app and I look at my watch list and I see the top three companies are green, I'm like, okay, perfect. That aligns with my bias. I thought it was going to be a long today. And it's saying that all these companies are green and they're positive. That means that I am aligned with my bias and this app is just giving me a little more confirmation. Okay. Then let's say that I'm looking for shorts. I'm like, do you know what? The market's forming this reversal candle right now. It's rejecting the 20 EMA like this thing is going to drop so hard. And then I go look at the top three companies on my watch list and they're all red. Their percentages are dropping. I'm like, oh, perfect. It's aligning with my bias. That's absolutely perfect. This is awesome. So that's how we're really going to be using this app. So the more companies that you see lit up green on the left side of the watch list, I'll show you guys right now, but on the left side, they'll be lit up green. That's going to be confirmation for longs. And if they're all lit up as red, that's going to be more confirmation for sells. So the more companies that are green, we're going to buy more companies are red. We're going to sell. Now, this is how it should look, guys. I have my chart right here. We can see the US 30 did this nasty false breakout today and then it shot up. So our bias today was to go long. Now look at the CNBC app right here. Let me move it down so we can get the full view. We can see Microsoft was green. It was up 2.74%. We can see United Health was up 2.27% or those are the points that it's up, I think but it's a percentage 1.1 percent on microsoft then um united health 0.46 percent goldman sachs 1.5 1.50 percent today um home depot 0.26 percent so we can see the top three companies microsoft united health goldman sachs home depot they're all green and that's what i mean this little green line right here now if they were all red like this and we were looking for shorts, I think the market would be more so looking like this. But this is just an example of how the market should look aligned with the CNBC app. And I need to tell you guys something real quick. Notice how US 30 is in an uptrend. We can see that. And the top three companies are all green, or the percentage is possible on, positive on CNBC. So the percentage right here is positive. On all three of those this is using our analysis and confluence with the CNBC app now this app is not 100% accurate and you should never rely on it just letting you guys know for forewarning I did mention that in the beginning of this video so this is the CNBC trading hack I hope that you guys got some value from this video and now is when you take the action steps go download the app let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you have any other suggestions about this app, anything that anybody can learn from, and if you agree with this or not. I don't care if you guys don't agree or not. Let me know what you guys think below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.